Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dominica. Thank you everybody who subscribed and clicked the like button. My channel is growing very slowly, but I'm so proud of every single person who signs up, uh, who signed up and who supports me and watches my video. So today uh, it's going to be a pretty brief video, but I want to give you some tips and some advice when it comes to eyelashes. So I want to talk to you about the, how to nourish your eyelashes, how to make them stronger, how to add a little bit of volume and length to it. And also I'm going to show you my mascara applications which makes a huge difference as well so let's start so when it comes to eyelashes you probably have to unless you naturally uh, have a lot of lashes and a lot of volume and length to it then you know totally disregard what I'm what I have to say but if you like me and you have very thin fine lashes they're there but they're barely visible uh, you can definitely benefit from that uh, eyelashes routine that I created for myself so you know just how you replenish water in your skin the same goes with lashes as we get older eyelashes are getting more dry and brittle and they break they fall they fall out sometimes you know they start falling out when you do the lash extensions I heard that from someone uh, and also eyelashes glue if you love fake lashes oh my god this is a disaster because the glue gets on your natural lashes and then they start falling out so you have to kind of take it easy with the with the fake lashes if you care about your own lashes and you want to grow them you have to definitely take a break or two from uh, fake lashes as you're going through that process that's supposed to straighten your eyelashes so same way you know as you apply moisturizer on your face you're gonna do the same for your lashes so I use three products on daily basis and two of them I typically apply at night and one of them in the morning uh, it really depends how much time I have so I actually invested in a Sil Booster uh, Serum by Lancome. It's one of my favorite. It's a little bit pricey, but I actually found a deal where you get uh, two extra products by purchasing this in a set. So what it is, is just basically a conditioner with a little brush and you just basically go over your lash line. That's where you apply it. I also go underneath as well, and I apply that, and I do that after, uh, after I take a shower in, in the evening, after I'm pretty much done with my skincare routine, I start taking care of my lashes. So first I apply that uh, on my eyelashes, then I wait a few minutes, and then I seal it with either Sil Booster, that's a conditioner, and also volumizing aid uh, for your lashes, or sometimes I seal it with the oil, and I use the coconut oil for that. This is the Spectrum brand, and this one is specifically for hair and skin, and I put it on my hair, I put it on my face, I absolutely love coconut oil, but the reason I recommend the coconut oil over any other oil for your eyelashes is because when coconut oil gets to your eyes, it doesn't burn, it doesn't sting, you can easily get rid of it, whereas I've tried some oils like castor oil and jojoba oil, mm, a little tiny drop got into my eye and I suffer half of the day. I kept rubbing my eye and I felt like was everything that I looked at was really blurry. So I would re highly recommend coconut over any other oil for that reason. So why do I use both? Well, the serum uh, formula is pretty light and more on the watery side, so kind of like a j little gel, cooling gel type of consistency. Uh, and then, you know, um, I want to seal it with the oil, with something that's a little bit heavier. Same thing with your skin routine, right? When you're done applying all your serums and moisturizers, then you want to seal it with oil and not before that. So uh, this is exactly the pattern that I follow when it comes to nourishing uh, your lashes. And, and what you get out of it is coconut oil and this uh, strengthening and lengthening serum definitely adds a little bit length, a little bit volume, uh, makes the lashes well hydrated so they don't break as often. And uh, I do it every day, every night. Now in the morning, I have very limited time. So a lot of time I skip the serum and I just go for the seal booster. And this is Seal Booster by Lancome. They've been selling it for years and I've loved it for years. So what I typically do, uh, I actually, sometimes I use it at night and sometimes uh, during the day when I get up in the morning, uh, I actually use it uh, before I apply my mascara. 
and I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. I wanna give you one more tip. So I've been, I've, I've loved Lancome mascaras for years and that's pretty much all I've been using but uh, it comes with a tip so you know when you buy when you spend $30 on mascara at Lancome uh, obviously it's an investment so you want to make sure that you buy the best product and you love it and sometimes you buy it and you end up not loving it or all of a sudden the products start drying so I found solution for it if I want to try a new higher-end mascara and I don't want to spend $30, $32, $29 on mascara, I actually buy the mini size instead. So this is actually Lancome uh, Monsieur Big and this is Idol Lush uh, Lancome uh, Mascara. They're both volumizing, lengthening, they do everything. Uh, so instead, I actually buy the minis. Uh, when I, every time I buy a life-size mascara, after two weeks, it starts drying. As you open it and you're going up and down, you know, to get, to scoop some product, the air bubbles get inside and cause mascara to grow bacteria in it and also to dry. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. So that's why I buy always mini mascaras. Also easy if you travel, if you want to pack light and, and you don't want to bring 40 different ones, I would actually grab two little minis and I would, uh, I would use that. Uh, and also I, I, uh, I try to see if there's a gift set with um, mascara, with serums. Uh, I always go to Macy's or Lord & Taylor trying to figure out if Lancome is running some kind of a promotion because they always have the Finicils or maybe Hypnose or any other mascara uh, as a sample, as a part of that gift. So that's what I always do. So yeah, honestly, the big advice is just don't kill your lashes with the glue that you use for fake lashes. Be careful when you try to apply extensions. Make sure that you read your review about the place that you're about to go to and honestly when you ready when you feel that your lashes starts breaking again and they don't look great take a break take a break from magnetic or fake lashes or whatever whatever extensions you may want to get and you know do it at least for two months you'll see the difference your your lashes will thank you for that so that's pretty much it before we see the application so enjoy that Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to show you with the same mascara, um, I'm gonna show you the difference in application. So I'm gonna show you one side with just the mascara and the other side with the Soul Booster by Lancome, which I um, talked to you about before. So let's start with the, this eye. And let's see. So this is a pretty good mascara and it actually adds a lot of volume to your lashes see uh, and I just typically do one coat and it's enough so I have some lashes but they're very thin very fine so this this is my left eye with just a mascara so as you can tell mascara by itself works wonders and it's such a difference already but I want to show you how much more you can achieve if you actually add Sil Booster and you don't have to wait long before the application of mascara so that's what I'm gonna use right now on my right eye so first I'm just gonna brush everything up and it has this it, it's white when you look at Sil Booster it seems that it's white but it actually is going to dry clear and so we want to wait just a tiny bit, but not too long. We don't need the Sil Booster to be completely dry to add mascara. Can you tell? Can you tell how white it is? And it's fine. It's, I promise you it's not going to show. And this is something I've been using for a very long time. And the reason I love Sil Booster so much is because it adds extra volume and extra length to your lashes as you apply mascara, but it also is a conditioner. And... Um, so take advantage of it. So I'm going with the same mascara and now uh, I'm gonna apply mascara over and this mascara even though volumizing mascara sometimes clamp up and whatnot this is something that's been working for me for years. 
and this is just a slappy application by me you know this is not something I took a lot of time to think of I just wanted to show you the difference so I want to show you this application because you know there are some of us out there that don't really have thick and beautiful lashes and maybe you're not a fan of extension maybe you're not a fan of uh, fake lashes so this would be a really good solution it's not anything super crazy but it adds at least 50 percent of that volume uh to your to your lashes so that's why i always use sil booster uh i haven't found anything similar to it but this seems to be working so uh that's what i'm sticking to and um that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching if you end up liking this video please uh subscribe and click the like button i would love to show you more videos and it lets me know that the videos that i'm making make sense and that you like them and that you like the information that i'm giving you so that's pretty much it that's all i prepare for today so have a great weekend and i will see you soon